Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be using Blender 2.8 to create a sci-fi spaceship. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Blender. And like usual, the first thing we do is click on general here. Let's click on this light source and delete it for now. Let's go to file, save as, and I've got a folder on my desktop. I'm just gonna call this sci-fi spaceship-01. Okay, so we've got this object here. We wanna scale it on the, let's scale it on the X axis. So I wanna set that to eight. So we set it to eight like this. And then on the Z axis, I'm gonna set it to 0 0.4. So it's gonna be more of a narrow object and then the Y I'm going to leave it probably as it is here. I think this width is fine one here so 8 1 and 0 0.4 let's go into edit mode and we want to do some loop cuts so let's press number 7 and let's click on the face tool and then we want to select the loop cut tool let's left click and hold down the left mouse button so left click drag across you see this orange line and we want to drag it to around here so like three of these blocks in from the from the center point you see one, two, three blocks, and we're gonna cut here. And then we wanna left click here at the other side, hold down the left mouse button and drag it so there's two blocks from the end. So it'll be something around like here. Then you see like a square section here. So that's our loop cuts done. Whenever you finish with the loop cut, click on the move tool. That's a good tool to select when, or click on the uh, select box tool, either one, but don't try not to leave it on these tools because you can make errors when you left them, leave them on these tools. Let's middle mouse click and go rotate around to the front. We'll click on this front face. So we want to select the face tool here, face tool, click on the face here, and then we want to scale it in. So press S to scale. And if you look at the green line in the background and you see the Y axis here or the Y direction, we want to press S to scale, then Y. And then we want to scale it in quite narrow. Sometimes if you can't get it to a fine point, let's say if you get stuck around here, just left click and then move your mouse back out again. Zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit clearer. Then press S to scale and then Y and you can scale it in a bit more accurately, right? Like this. And then you can do the same with the top. So press S to scale and then Z. And we're going to scale it down this way. And I'll get, maybe it'll get stuck around here somewhere because you haven't got enough room. So you just left click, then press S to scale, then Z. And you can scale it down even more to a fine point so we just want like a little square point at the top here and then around the back we want to click on this and we want to press s to scale and then y and then we want to hold down the control key and holding down the control key will, will scale in increments and we want to scale it so that it's a square box like this at the back okay so that's just the basic body of the ship done let's go into object mode and we'll refine this as we go along let's call this sh ship uh, let's call this uh, space uh, space spaceship body okay now we want to add the engine part so let's press shift a and insert a cylinder so here's a cylinder and we want to set its values to 0 0.9 so we want to set it on all of them to 0 0.9 and in fact the z-axis will set it to Let's leave it on one for the moment. We might change that in a moment. Let's click on this object and we want to rotate it. So let's press R to rotate and we'll rotate on the Y axis. So press Y and then type in 90. So it sits flat like this. And then we want to move it. So let's press number seven. So we see it from the top and we'll uh, click on our move tool and we'll hold down the control key. You don't have to hold down the control key, but you can hold it down if you want to move it in increments. And we'll move it to around, let's say around not too far back around here so around two blocks back here right here and i think actually we're going to make it a bit more smaller so we're going to set it to 0 0.7 something like this it's going to make the segment a bit more smaller in fact we made one mistake here so let's think about this do we need to fix that actually i don't think actually we're fine we don't need to fix anything so let's click on this object go into edit mode and you can see it in edit mode now and we want to click on this face here, this one right here, and we want to press E to extrude. And when we press E to extrude, we can make it uh, extrude in this direction. So just move your left, your mouse to the left a bit, and we want to extrude it not as much, about halfway, about half that sort of distance. And then we want to press S to scale. 
So when you press S to scale, we want to scale it outwards. I want to scale it outwards. Uh, I mean, this is really your own choice now, right? So you can either go outside of the, the ship body, which I think is a good move. So we can scale it so that it sits outside. You can see the, the circle is on the outside now. So you get a bit more sort of shape around the edge here, something like this. And then we can press S to actually press uh, E to extrude again, and then press S to scale. And maybe we'll scale it. Uh, let's scale it, in fact, out a bit more like this and then press E to extrude and then we're going to start scaling it inwards. Let's scale it into around here, then press uh, E to extrude, move it along, scale it in a bit more. This time we'll scale it so that it's inside the, uh, the, the ship body, then we press E to extrude and we might scale it out again a little bit. So press S to scale, let's scale it out a little bit, press E to extrude and then press S to scale and scale it in. Let's just zoom out and move around to this side and press E to extrude, S to scale, scale it in, E to extrude, then S to scale, scale it in here to around, let's see, maybe we'll scale it so these little points stick out at the end. I don't think that's a wise move. Let's scale it to here, we'll be good. So we've got a basic shape of a ship engine yeah just a basic shape and we'll refine that as we go along so let's click here and we want to do the same for the front so let's press e to extrude and then s to scale and we'll scale it in a bit e to extrude s to scale scale it in a bit more e to extrude and then s to scale and scale it in a little bit more so we've got basically a you know a basic type style of a ship engine let's go into object mode so that's our ship engine let's call that spaceship let's just double click here copy this double click here control v to paste spaceship engine let's call it spaceship engine main right it's the main segment of the engine and now we want to create like the uh, where the pilot would sit think of it that way so let's press shift a and insert a uv sphere press number seven that takes us into the top view let's press s to scale and we'll scale it in something like around here you know just a little bit wider than the front part here then hold down the control key and drag it to around the center point of these three going across around the center here you see around the center and then let's just look at it from this angle so we see it a bit better and we're going to press s to scale and scale it on the x-axis so press s then x and scale it out to around here you can kind of see how much it's taken so you can see that's going to be like where the pilot might sit, for example. We might scale out a bit wider. So let's press S to scale and then Y. Let's press a Y and we'll scale it out a bit wider as well. Just a small amount. We'll leave like a gap down the side here as well. So something like this. And we'll refine these, these sides and stuff in a moment. We'll work on that. Uh, what we want to do really is copy this object. So this one here is called, uh, let's call it Spaceship this sphere let's call it spaceship top and then we want to click on this press move your cursor to the viewport press shift and d to duplicate it and call this one spaceship side and what we want to do is press number let's see number number one number one will take us into the front orthographic and we want to scale it on the uh, z-axis so let's press S to scale. In fact, we should turn on the X-ray here so we can see inside the object. Let's zoom in a bit closer. Let's press S to scale and then Z and we'll scale it in to around here. We'll make it quite narrow actually, around here. You can see it's quite narrow. Then let's press number seven. That takes us into the top view and now we want to scale it on the Y axis. So let's press S to scale and then Y and scale it out so it sticks out the side here a little bit. Not too much around this, this sort of amount just around here so it sticks out the side and now you can see if we go back into if we turn off the x-ray you'll see these parts on the side here and at the top let's click on the top one right click on it shade it smooth click on these side ones right click on them and shade them smooth as well so now you've got this sort of style of object right let's click on this ship body here let's go into edit mode and we'll press number seven to take us into the top view and we want a loop cut at the front here. So let's click our loop cut tool, click on the faces tool, and then 
left click here and drag it back to around here just before this top part here you want a loop cut right here you can choose where you want but I think here is a good place and then make sure you click on the move tool click on the faces select tool here and the move tool let's middle mouse click and click on this face hold down the shift key and click on this face here and then we'll use the inset tool so let's click inset faces and then click in this top corner I have to be there but click in the top corner left click and drag in just a little amount not too much a small amount like this and then we want to scale it so let's press um, s to scale and scale it out just a small amount something like this so you've got this like sort of shape at the front just makes it look a bit more different right gives it gives it a bit more dimension okay so let's go back into object mode and we want to work on the engine part here a bit more so we want to press shift a and insert another cylinder so we've got another cylinder here but we want to set its vertices to 14 14 vertices here and we want to scale it down so let's rotate it first let's press r to rotate then y then type in 90 and let's drag it back a bit before we drag it back we'll set its z axis or z scale to uh, 0 0.5 to something like this and let's press number seven and we're just going to hold it down hold down the control key and drag it to around here somewhere like here so it sits in like the middle of this section here and then let's see I'm thinking whether we um, we don't actually have to let's see from the top let's just go let me just turn on the X I just want to see how it's sitting there if it's right or wrong I think it's going to be okay actually let me just see it from number seven so you can see it's sitting right on the edge here right on the edge of the other object I don't really want that I want it to be in a little bit so the other one we scaled it to 0 0.9 I think so on this on the Y let's see let's try and set it to 0 0.95 and let's see that will scale it in between those two so that's a good place to be 0 0.95 and then on the uh, let's see on the X Let's set that to 0 0.95 as well and that will just scale it correctly so it was kind of sit in between we sit on top of this object but in between that and the body we don't want them overlapping so let's go into let's click on this uh where is this let's turn off our x-ray and this new object is here and let's call this object uh let's in fact we want to scale it down a bit more let's say it's about 0 0.2 We'll make it quite narrow, yeah, quite narrow, and we want to call this uh, ship engine segment. Let's call it segment one, in fact. Segment one. And let's save this. Let's click on it and then go into edit mode. And we want to extrude the face, but we can't see that face. So let's click on the show x ray and left click outside and then click on the front face here. You can see you can click on the front now because you're in x-ray and you can see through other objects and that allows you to select that front face we're going to just press e to extrude and extrude it a small amount not too much just a small amount like this and then turn off the x-ray and really what we want to do is hide the engine and the ship body for a moment so let's click on the ship body and the main engine and hide them so we just see this object we'll turn them back on afterwards let's left click outside so we select nothing and make sure the face select tool is selected and make sure the move tool is selected here and what we want to do is click on this face this one here the smaller one let's get around here uh, let's see let's we want to click on this one here in fact you can probably use the select tool be better right because that way you won't, it won't be moving anyway for now so we want to skip this one and click on this one and then rotate around skip this one select this one skip this one hold down the shift key when you're left clicking to select them and we're just skipping every other one every other one let's rotate back around to the top here and what we want to do is extrude this and scale it so let's press e to extrude then s to scale and we want to scale it uh, let's see outwards like this in fact the smart thing to do before, now that we've got them selected i'll press escape right to undo that the smart thing to do really is turn on the uh, ship engine yeah 
in fact we would have been okay because this is not sitting inside the ship engine anyway but kind of if you turn on the ship engine and even turn on the ship body you can kind of see how far you've got to scale because you want to scale outside of the ship body probably in fact i'm not sure let's see we would have skipped one in there right so there is one there let's see i think it'll be fine actually it'll be fine so let's press um e to extrude and s to scale and let's scale it out to around here so you can see how far you've scaled it something like this and then we want to select um let's see we want to select these faces here this one here all of them basically around the edge here this one here this one here this one and this one so just hold down the shift key and um you're able to select them then yeah in fact i think maybe let's have a look i think maybe this one we're going to unselect it so let's uh hold down the shift key unselect that one and hold down the shift key and unselect this one we only want these top two uh and these bottom three i think will be good so we want to extrude these this way so let's press e to extrude and extrude it out and then we're going to press s to in fact we'll press e to extrude one more time and then we'll left click and then press s to scale and scale it downwards like this and then press e to extrude and then uh, press e to extrude out left click then press s to scale and scale it downwards let's scale it to around here then e to extrude then s to scale it down and then maybe we'll do e to extrude here and then s to scale it down so it's scaling down into this um this object in here right so just building some components let's say think of it that way and then we've got a couple of options now right we can either scale this way uh, we can do something with this object here this is where you've got a bit more freedom so i think what we do is select this face here and select this face here these two at the top and we're going to press um let's get to this angle here will be wiser let's press s to scale then in fact let's press e to extrude and s to scale and let's scale it this way out like this so you kind of get this shape going on here and it's all about experimenting now right you've got time to experiment so I'll play around with the faces and see how you can extrude them and change them just to give your spaceship a bit more a bit more design right um and what we might do let's see i think uh what we might do is um we've got choices here really i'm making this up as we go along so i think what we'll do is scale out this face as well so we want to hide the engine and the body so we can see this face we want to select this face here and press e to extrude it out a bit just a small amount maybe around this sort of this amount then we can turn back on the ship body and in fact let's turn off the ship body because we want to select the faces and i think what we'll do is we will select um yeah let's select the similar ones so this one and this one and we'll select this one here the one on the opposite side and then this one here as well and this one and then finally this one here so we're going to use a similar process to build something towards the back of the ship so let's see uh, we want to e to extrude and s to scale so e to extrude s to scale and we're going to scale it outwards let's scale them outwards maybe we'll make these ones a bit bigger so they're roughly the same size in fact and uh, we want to do that one more time so e to extrude and s to scale and we're going to scale outwards again somewhere around here and then we want to select this face hold down the shift key select that one this one this one this one here this one here and then this one at the bottom and we want to extrude these out so let's press e to extrude and then we'll press e to extrude again and then press s to scale and scale them inwards then press e to extrude s to scale scale it inwards again something like this so building up this engine shape right something like this and this object is independent from the other object so we can twist it and turn it and do all sorts of things later so that would be nice to have a look at let's go back into um in fact what we might do let's see are they still selected these faces maybe let's go into uh 
x-ray okay I think actually that would be fine we can do something else at the back of the ship later maybe but I think uh, maybe we'll leave that bit as it is I think that's looking okay so let's go into object mode and what we want to do now is build some wings for this ship the ship doesn't have any wings so I ain't gonna go very far so let's build some wings for it so let's add a cube let's press shift a and add a cube and let's press number seven that takes us into the top view we'll hold down the control key and drag this cube back to where we think the wings will be and I think they'll be around here and then we want to drag it upwards so hold down the control key and let's drag it upwards and let's set the X location to minus four let's just get it a nice round number um, and then you can see this wing is way too tall so we want to scale it on the Z axis let's scale it right down to zero point and that's too thick so let's set it to 0 0.1 here and then we want to bring it out to the side a bit let's press number seven and let's just hold down the control key and drag it out uh, to where to about here so just be slightly sitting inside of the ship body here right here something like this do you think that's too thick for a wing let's see let's set it a bit smaller let's say to zero let's see maybe 0 0.05 yeah I think that's a bit better that was too thick so we'll set it to 0 0.05 one by one like that that should be good and it's set to you can see the the, uh, the information here right so that's the wing sticking out but we need to do some work on it let's click on it and let's go into edit mode let's go to file save as and let's save this as version 2 and then we want to select this face here this top edge so make sure the face select tool is selected select the move tool and click on the face tool and then click on this face here and really we want to let's see we want to extrude that outwards right and then have some sort of shape pointing towards the front of the ship so I reckon we'll do E to extrude uh, in fact let's press number seven so we see it from the top view let's press e to extrude and we'll extrude it out you can hold down the control key to control the extrusion i want to set it to around here so there's a little one gap at the top here on that box right there something like this will be good and then let's see let's rotate around and we want to extrude this face now so let's uh let's press number seven let's press e to extrude and extrude it quite far out to around around here it's almost like one block away and then we want to click on the in fact we should probably scale this first so let's go to the front here this face is already selected we just want to scale it into a point so let's press s to scale and then y and then hold down the control key and we'll scale it down to a very fine point at the front and like that you can see it's quite a fine point and then we want to scale it on the z-axis so let's press s to scale z and you can hold down the control key and scale it down to a fine point so it's like a really fine point now that fine point we need to select it it might be a bit tricky but we need to select that that is actually a face still so we want to select it press number seven and then we want to drag that this way so it's pointing inwards like this and in fact we might move it forward a bit to the, towards the front of the ship and scale it in like this let's scale let's move it to around here okay so we've got a basic shape going on there and what we want to do now is uh, let's see what we want to do is go into object mode and we want to move this out a little bit so let's just press number seven if we write down 1.9 that's probably a good number to write down on a bit of paper I'm just going to write down a bit of paper 1.9 for the Y. You can try and memorize it, uh, but just hold down the control key and we're going to drag it out. Let's drag it out so there's a gap here. Drag it a bit further and then go to edit mode because we want to work on the inside of this wing. Uh, we should have moved it a bit further really, but let's see if we can get there. We can get there. Let's click on it and we want to scale it. So let's press S to scale and we want to scale it on the x-axis right the red line so press s to scale then x 
and let's scale it in a bit like this not too much somewhere around here maybe top view would be better to look at it from you can see it from the top I think that sort of shape is good uh, that should be good so let's go back into object mode click here and then we can just rewrite it down so just type in 1.9 and it will move it right back into place again so you can see the wing shape like this and then let's do a little bit of work on this side here let's go into edit mode we'll click on this face and we want to extrude it a bit so let's press E to extrude just a small amount and then press S to scale and Y S then Y and we'll scale that in like this uh, scaling quite small something like this and then we'll click on that face and we'll press S to scale and then Z let's scale it down like this and let's see we want to click on this face press S to scale then Z and scale that one down a bit like that then I think that will be good enough for a basic wing shape right something like this I think will look good okay let's go back into object mode and we want to replicate this wing and place it on the other side so let's call this um, what should we call it if we're looking at it from normally we we'll look at the ship from the back most of the time when it's flying and doing all this stuff so let's click on this wing and call it left wing so it's called cube at the moment so we call this um, let's call it spaceship left wing and then let's click on that move to the viewport press shift and D to duplicate it and then press shift and D to duplicate it again and then press shift and D to duplicate it one more time so we've got four of them this one here ship left we want to rename it to ship right and with the ship right one we want to uh, let's see we want to flip it rotate it 180 on the X and then we want to move it to minus 1.9 minus 1.9 that places it exactly on the opposite side just like that and then this one here we're going to call it top so it'll be the top wing let's see spaceship uh, top wing let's name it correctly spaceship top wing and this one will be spaceship bottom wing so Let's see, okay. So the top one, we want to rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees, 90, 90. So it sits top like this. Let's press number seven, and then we want to move that to the midpoint. So that will be on the y axis. We want to set that to zero. So now it's moved to the middle. Then we can press um, number, let's do number, yeah, let's do number one. That takes us to the side view. Or the front view in this case but we're looking at it from the side and we just want to drag this up so we can click on the blue arrow hold down the control key and we'll drag it up to a point where we think it makes sense around here so we want it to be inside of the ship but sticking out like this so we can see it like this and then we'll repeat that same process but for the uh the bottom one right so let's click on the ship bottom wing this one and this time we want to rotate it on the Y axis, on the Z axis, should I say, minus 90, minus 90. So now it faces downwards. And if we click on this wing, we see that it's set to zero on the Y and 1.7 on the Z. So if we click on this one, we set it to zero on the Y and then uh, minus 1.7 on the Z. So that should bring it to the same one. Maybe actually I typed that in wrong, right? minus 1.7 so that will be exactly evenly spaced out the wings now right the top ones might be a bit different from the side ones but in general that's the kind of shape that we wanted and I think we're getting there it needs a little bit more work around the back here of the engine so let's click on this engine part and what we do is just go into edit mode and let's look at it from the top and I think what we would do is uh, let's see Let's click on this face here and we use the inset tool so inset faces will drag in like this in fact let's undo that so press ctrl z let's use the bevel tool so we'll click on the bevel tool and we'll let's see uh, let's see uh, 
uh, we want to bevel this right something like around 0 0.2 so we'll click on the bevel tool select that face and set it to 0 0.2 and then left click to confirm that so we've got like this rounded off shape here then we can click on <clears throat> uh, let's see click on the move tool select this face here and we want to inset it first so let's click on the inset let's drag in a small amount not a lot just a small amount just a small amount there like this and then we want to extrude it but backwards not forwards, we want to extrude it inwards. Let's press E to extrude and extrude it inwards like this. And then we're going to do some particle simulation with some particles flowing at the back here. But we need a little gap there so it looks like, it'll look cool anyway, I think. Um, then we've got a lot of uh, segments to work with here. So let's do something with them. Let's click on this one and this one. Let's use the, uh, let's select the move tool for now. In fact, let's select the select box tool, this one here. So let's select these ones and we want to leave a gap so it's a bit tedious. If someone knows a quicker way to select every other one like this, then do let me know. But I think you have to just go through the pain of selecting them one by one. So I'm holding down the shift key and selecting one by one. I want to press uh, E to extrude, then S to scale. And I want to scale them out a bit like this. And then I want to click on the um, inset tool, inset faces. Let's zoom in a bit here so we can see it a bit clearer. And I want to drag it in a bit. Let's see. Uh, it's not working for some reason. Inset faces. Ah, here we go. So we'll select it. We want to drag it in a bit let's say about this much we want to leave a little bit of a box there like this and then we want to extrude it again so let's press e to extrude and then s to scale and we're going to scale it outwards a little bit more to something like this again this is just from imagination this is not something that i'm just thinking about how can we make that more dynamic rather than just leaving it as a flat edge across the bottom right and then we can color these and we can do other stuff with it later. So we can just improve the model a bit. So let's just do a little bit at the back here. And I think we'll be done with most of our modeling. So I think with this one, we'll click on these three faces and we'll skip one. So we'll click these three, let's skip one. Hopefully we'll get around these three, these three here. And finally these three so we've got a gap in between every three right and then um, we want to press E to extrude and then S to scale and scale those out let's scale them out to around here something like this and then uh, let's see maybe we'll do um, E to extrude S to scale and we we'll scale it out one more time and then let's press S to scale in fact, let's press, let's see what we can do with these. Should we scale it backwards? Let's see. I'm just going to press escape. Let's see what it looks like from here. Because if I extrude it this way, I just want to see what it looks like. So let's press E to extrude. Let's see. Maybe we'll do that. So we've got them selected. We extruded them once. We extruded them twice. And now we're going to press E to extrude and extrude this way. So let's press E to extrude and just a little bit, maybe about here, something like this. And then we get this pretty cool shape. So I reckon that's kind of looking like what we want. And remember, we started off with a simple like rectangle box here and a couple of shapes. And we've managed to build out this sort of shape here. And the nice thing about building it this way is you can click. If we go back into object mode, we can click on this engine part. We can press... Um, something like r to rotate and then on the z axis x axis we can rotate this part of the engine and then we've got this other part here this bit here that was built separately so we can press r to rotate then we can press x and rotate that separately so we we'll rotate them with those objects separately and we can rotate one in one direction one in the other and we can color them in different ways and i think it'll look pretty cool so we've got a good model working here so i think the wise thing to do is go to file save 
file save as. I'm going to save that as version 3. Okay, so that's the first part of the tutorial done. We've built the basic model. And in the second part, we're going to add some materials. So let's uh, think about what we're going to do in the second part of this video. I think um, we will add some HDRI lighting first, and then we'll add different colors to this object to see how we can make it look good. And this front part, we're going to try and make it look like glass. Um, would be nice as well. One thing, we, we need to turn back on our ship body, right? So that bit's been hidden. So now we can see it and really get to see the full ship design here in fact with it with it off it actually looks pretty good as well so maybe we don't need that ship body part this part here i don't know do you like it with the point at the front or would you prefer it without i kind of like it without but the advantage of using something like blender where we can uh render out soft render out of our image is we can turn it off or on so for now we'll leave it on because we built it and we'll color it as well in the next part of the tutorial and if we don't like it we'll just turn it off and hide it or we can have two versions right we can duplicate this object and make a second version without that so i'll show you how to do that maybe as well let's go to file save we'll close this down that's the end of the first part of this tutorial join me in the second part and we'll start to add some colors to our ship model